Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Yesterday, EA answered the call by putting all footies cards in packs. Guys, we have more 99 raids to pack and big SBCs out now and more coming to craft. But the question is, will EA make our favorite crafting SBC of the end game unlimited repeatable today? We're going to find out and look forward to that. And of course, we have more FC25 rewards that just became obtainable that we can do now to give ourselves some pretty good packs in FC25 when that comes around. So we're going to talk about it all today. If you're excited for it, drop a thumbs up and of course, subscribe if you're new. Let's get into the content first by going to the evolutions, guys. We got to talk about this Evo that is literally stealing all the headlines of this game at the moment. Yes, we're talking about Evos in basically September. The road to the FC25 Evo. This is the one that we were looking for, right? It gives us an 81 times 7 in FC25, but it also gives us 99 rated cards in FC24 of random gold cards. Not all of them random. You can tell here the boost is big and the best thing about this is it's easy to get done. Play two, play two, play two, play six games and win two of them and you get yourself this evolution completed which gives you Trickster, Pinged Pass, Press Proven, and Anticipate Plus. Kind of an interesting boost to the playstyles. Playstyle Plus is for sure and only max overall 78. The requirements are pretty interesting but I'm sure as a lot of you guys have seen the cards that come out of this are so end game. It is crazy. You've got some big names in here like Artiguler, Andres Pereira. They look pretty cracked. Jamie Vardy, Florenzi, Kang and Lee. Bye. Even Willian has a pretty cracked evolution card. Look at how many 99 stats are on a lot of these cards. This evolution, I'm sure you've seen this one. This evolution has also created the first ever in the history of Ultimate Team card with all 99 face stats. This Fernandez card from a silver base goes into two evolutions and then into the road of the FC25. And of course, he goes full 99s. This is crazy. This is kind of like what I imagined, or at least some of us maybe imagined what could possibly happen through evolutions. And this is what evolutions has brought to Ultimate Team that was never possible before. It's honestly wild. Sure, it's the end of the game, but this is just one of the ways that we love how Evos have brought fun content to this game. Now, the thing is, of course, this card is extinct or 10,000 coins max price on the market. If you're going to try to get him, you got to try to open packs that give you silver rares he's probably tough to pack it's going to be hard to get this card but it is a legendary card for sure as is the first of his kind now the other thing i want to mention is a lot of these other cards for bigger name players that go crazy in this evo are guess what extinct artiguler 10,000 coins andres pereira who's in my club 10,000 coins extinct. Jamie Vardy, 10,000 coins max price extinct as well, as are so many of these. I think actually Emil Smith Rowe, let me check this out because Emil Smith Rowe, his brand new Fulham transfer card, yeah, it's at 10,000 coins now. He was literally, oh, EA messed up his price range. Wow. He was literally at 50,000 coins selling price yesterday because he was selling with his price range being where it is. He was selling above like 30, 40, 50,000 coins max. It was crazy how much he was going for. So yeah, this Evo is amazing, right? Just put somebody in it, play the six games and create yourself a card that you're going to want to use and have some fun with. For me, it's probably going to be a USMNT player. Uh, I don't know, maybe even a Spurs player like this Davies. Just find somebody fun that you've never used that's from your team, from your na nationality, and then go for it. And then of course, doing that evolution, completing it will give you packs in FC25, which is the best. So that's one of the craziest evos we've had all year long, especially because of the 99 rated stats that it gives to all the cards. We absolutely love it. Let's go to objectives because there is a new objective that dropped yesterday with something new and interesting that we haven't seen yet time loans. Now we've had some other loans before, but these are like specific time loans that when you get the card in your club, that's when the countdown timer starts. It's not that this card expires on a certain date, like some of the other loans that we've had before and objectives, like um, who else did we have in loans? There was a couple other cards. I can't remember at the moment, but um, like I had one for Kyle Walker. Maybe he was one, but this Neymar card is in the preseason daily play completionist. Along with the Neymar, there's 3000 XP available for the day one completion and the day three completion, which is nice for those of us trying to get to level 30 for the Dino and the FC 25 packs. But this Neymar is a seven day loan card. Whenever you get him, whether you get him like right away or it takes you six days to get there or the full seven days, you will have this 99 Neymar in your club for seven days after that. And then he will disappear. I think it's kind of interesting because 
it's nice when a loan card disappears. I wish some of the other loan cards would disappear from my club because they're literally useless. But it's also, I feel like this is an EA tactic here because once you get used to using a card and that guy disappears, then you're going to want to try to get him or replace him somehow. So that seems, I don't know, I, I feel something going on here with that. But it is a new loan type that they are trying out. And it, it is nice to have a chance at 99 Neymar that you get to use um, for at least seven days after you get him. So that was the only objective that was dropped yesterday. We're still waiting on the second for the club objective. If you guys were looking for this uh, second version of this one, it is not out yet. So EA is withholding that. I hope it comes pretty soon. Um, I'm not entirely sure if it's going to be after this one expires, which would be way too long in the future, or if it's going to be next Friday, or if it's going to be throughout this weekend. We're watching for that for the club two objective, which is now the last FC 25 reward piece that we haven't seen yet in the game now let's go and take ourselves to the sbc section where things went crazy as well of course in the icons this was the big banger sbc yesterday we had that r9 sbc and the best thing about this is he's only 15 squats now i know what you're saying you're like nate you're such an ea employee you called this you guessed this right. Like, yes, that is all that I did, guys. I had no leaks. I have the same number of leaks that you guys have from Twitter slash X post. That's all that I have. It's all that I'm working off of. All that information, same for me, same for you. I just thought that this R9 SBC for a Friday had to happen, especially because they were going with the grades of the games, and it did. So, GG's, I guess we called it right, right? The 98 R9, though, is only 15 squads, and that's a big deal, especially when you looked at the Mia Ham and the Eusebio, and then being what were they like 27 squads 30 squads for Mia Ham? this car doesn't even start with the 93s you got an 86 92 92 then you get to the 93s and only one 94 rated squad for r9 always the best striker or one of the best strikers in the game so this sbc a lot of people are doing it's of course a million coins but 15 squads is a piece of cake at the moment and his price of course yesterday got absolutely demolished 1.8 mil he was actually down at like six to seven hundred k he's kind of rebounding back up a little bit after the panic but i would still imagine that with his sbc being out people will be crafting this and he's still in packs as well so we'll still get supplied a little his price will probably be slowly dropping as we go throughout but that's an insane SBC. Like, he is even better than some of the 99 rated cards that are out. I don't have him in my starting 11 at the moment. I guess that's a little bit of a spoiler, but make sure you check out the second channel video because I won't need to do this SBC, and that's the hint that I'll give you. So check out the second channel video because we did pack some bangers yesterday, and we'll get to this stuff in packs in a minute. But before we get there, let's continue covering the SBCs that we had. We had a, another player SBC yesterday that was a transfer, as expected, but it wasn't a 99, but that honestly might be okay because this card looks pretty good. Maybe the passing and dribbling is a little bit low, but 98 pace, 98 defense on a 98 rated Juan Bissaka card with here's the key, especially after the Delict card where we were a little disappointed with the play styles. Good play styles for Juan Basaki. He's got Anticipate Plus, Jockey, and Rapids. Very, very nice. He does have Whipped Pass, Aerial, Regular. He has Slide Tackle Plus as well. Not like amazing play styles, but very solid. The stats look good. He's 5 star 5 star medium high work rates. And he can also play center back. What an interesting combination of alternate positions. Right back, right wing back, center back and right wing so however you're going to fit him into your squad you can do that and he's very very cheap only like what a hundred forty eight thousand coins three squads so we like that that's a nice fun transfer for wamasaka again it's not as crazy as like the julian alvarez that we had last friday but it's at least a decent one and we're gonna have more of these sbcs upcoming for sure now the last sbc that we had yesterday was interesting because it was the same SBC we had before, but EA added a slot or an extra player option in the 92 plus player pick. We've been liking this one. It's been giving us chances at some of those make your mark team of the tournament or PTG players that aren't actually in packs. But the problem is, and we see this time and time again, guys, when EA add a new slot or another player option in an SBC, this one goes from a one of four to a one of five. They jack the price up like crazy. Two 91 rated squads both with team of the seasons inside of this is a big price increase from what the 92 plus was before so that's a little bit annoying but these will still be good to have, i guess obtain them to try them out i'm still doing the 95 plus picks ahead of these but once you get done with those if you're still chasing some of those players like vvd like cole palmer 98 
this would be the player pick to do that from. So it's just a little bit annoying. And the last thing we have to mention just going by here is the crafting upgrade. I guess this also ties into objectives, but since this refreshed, we can now get the crafting objective done. You'll get to 100 of these. If you did the first 75, you can now do 75 more. Even if you didn't do the first 75, still do this 75 because it'll refresh again before this objective goes away and you'll be able to complete all 100 of these, get your, getting yourself an 82 times 5 for FC 25. So that's the SPC content. Now, with all these SPCs, the upgrade packs that we're opening, we're chasing a new set of cards. More 99s to chase. Of course, it is exactly as we expected. It is the 99 rated footies and footies from teams 4 and 5 that were re-released in packs, which is a W. I think there were some people that were expecting a little bit more, but to be completely honest, this is what I was expecting. These cards to be in pack. Look at the price. Remember yesterday, Hyunmin Sun was, you know, 2.63 million coins. Remember Salah was 6.4? Yeah, Salah is now 2. 8 million coins. So GG's if you sold these because of course they went down a bunch. I was able to pack a couple of these cards. You see on the transfer list here. Again, I can't spoil it too much. You gotta check out the second channel video. Gotta pull that up. But um, yeah, that was uh, yesterday. These cards being added to packs definitely made the pack grind a little bit more interesting for me. I won't lie because now there's more 99s to chase. Some of those players like Sawa, Carlos Alberto, Alex Morgan, I would absolutely love to chase because those are cards I have not used. Oh, we're getting the footies right here. No way. Oh, ho, ho. Alex Morgan is not a left mid. She is a striker. Who's this, though? Demarcus Beasley with the footies in behind? It is Koulibaly. All right. I thought I was getting myself Alex Morgan or maybe Dempsey after shouting that out. Oh, banger. 84 times 10. Holy. That was a good one. I got to keep opening 84 10s in the video, guys. We're just going to keep talking about stuff and open 84 10s because... We get insane luck, but it has made opening packs a lot more interesting with the chase of especially guys like Lucio in there as well. I know a lot of people really want that card and same thing with David Beckham. So it is nice to have those cards in packs. And of course, I know it's basically September, but we're going to take a quick look as we just did and mention at some of the price drops because they're crazy. Lucio was five mil. He's now three mil and these cards will just continue to drop, but they are packable and that is the best part. Now, the other thing I want to mention about what was re-released in packs yesterday is some of these other cards you see here on my transfer list. Take note of this price. Bukayo Saka, 1.6 mil. Look at what he is now. He is 2.6 mil, 2.5 million coins. He went up almost a million yesterday. There was big time panic selling before the content dropped. Now, just to keep you know the market stuff relevant, because we're going to be in FC25 soon, and we're going to have to really be dialed into this stuff, as we usually are throughout the year. But this card was down massive. I think a lot of people were expecting some of those PTGs and Make Your Mark cards to be re-released in packs as well. And again, I was not expecting that. There was definitely a possibility of it. But really, for me, it was all about the footies getting added back into the re-release of packs. And that is what EA did. They didn't put anything else in. So 99 VVD, the Sokka, maybe the John Stones, the Cole Palmer, those are not in packs at the moment. And you can tell their prices were down bad before content. People were panicking, thinking they were going to get re-released. They rebounded like crazy after content. Saliba went from 2 million coins all the way now to what is he? 2.8. If you were trading yesterday, there was disgusting amount of coins that could be made if you would have bought in the panic and sold in the rise so not that i bought anything we were shouting that on the stream because i was like guys this is probably going to happen i'm not going to buy but that is what happened yesterday there that was one of the craziest market movements i've seen in, in the late game like that in a really long time but of course with the new part cards and packs good luck chasing the 99s and of course the main question is guys let's talk about turning into today's content how we're going to chase those 99s. Our favorite and the game upgrade pack SBC, the beloved 85 times 10. We've been doing it 10 times a day now for the past week. And in the next couple of hours after this video goes live, we're probably going to find out if it becomes unlimited repeatable. I think it's time, guys. It, it is time because it is basically September, as we keep saying. And as history continues to repeat itself in the late times here on Ultimate Team in years past, last year we had the 85 times 10 on September 4th. So 
maybe a little bit later last year than this year, but with the way the upgrade packs have been trending, remember when we had the 84 times 10, 10 times repeatable? What came after that? The unlimited repeatable 84 times 10. So fingers crossed, all hopes secured that the 85 times 10 will be refreshing today. And maybe the early content time. This is one question I do have because they've kind of stopped dropping new stuff at the early content time, which is when this SBC expires. So will it actually refresh today at the early drop or will it wait until content, normal content time? That's something that we'll know here pretty soon. But I do believe, guys, we get the 8510 Unlimited today. I think it's going to happen. They put the new cards in packs. I think this is going to be them saying, all right, just have it go and play. Now, for those that like the 8410s as well, like you just saw my 84 times 10 right there. I've gotten some of my best pulls, some of the 99s, 98 rateds from the 8410 as well this SBC should also get re-released because as you can see in the end game last year we had the 8410 and the 8510 and even later on we had the 86 times 10 that'll probably make an appearance soon I don't know if that pack's been added to the code so maybe watch out for like a pack code tweet or two because if we haven't had that we've had an 86 times 11 that was in the season pass maybe we've had an 8610 that I haven't remembered but that would be an end game pack that we could potentially have coming soon too. We should have the 84 and 85 10 though re-released today. And of course, it better be unlimited repeatable for the 85 times 10 as well. We would love that. We would absolutely love that. And that would help us craft all the SBCs, of course, better as well. All the icon picks that you're maybe doing, the 95 plus picks, the 92 plus picks, and of course, the big boy player SBC. So that's the biggest thing for today. Hopefully the unlimited 85 times 10. Not to belabor that point, let's move on and talk about player SBCs because we'll definitely still get more of these. The question is, it's probably going to be transfer players, right? Like, this is where EA needs to now turn the corner away from the icon SBCs because we've had a lot, right? R9 was the tippity top. That was the Pike's Peak of all the SBCs we could have gotten. Sure, there's still a Zidane. Sure, there's maybe still a Thierry Henry or a Hullet that we haven't got as an SBC yet. Could they drop that and sprinkle that in? Yes, but the main things that we want are the transfer player SBCs, especially after a crazy deadline day yesterday with Sancho going to Chelsea, Sterling going to Arsenal in the late hours, and so many other transfers that have happened. It's those sort of transfer players that people are excited about seeing at their new clubs, especially as they start to see the pitch and train and you know actually get in games in real life we would you know enjoy a chance in the late game of using some higher rated players from those transfers so we're going to be closely watching that i think we will get a transfer player today i just started to lick because i want the 99 rated player and the more 98s and 99s come out just the better for us still playing the game and just better options to craft at this end game time so we're hoping for plenty of bangers there that might be the the entirety of content today though guys it might be the unlimited 85 times 10 that's the hope at least a new transfer player sbc and then i know not a lot of us are like going for store packs at the moment but i know a lot of people i'm just going to quick sell this at the moment because yeah i want to open another 84 times 10 i know a lot of people are hoping for the 81 times 100 to come back because that's been such a nice pack if you have a lot of coins to be opening with coins to get yourself a club restock. Like I find myself running out of 81 to 84 rateds a lot and that pack is gonna really stock your club back up. What do we have here? We have a great to the game icon with Oblock in front of it. I, Dino's like literally all who I'm missing now. Um, Ronald, don't dare you be Ronaldinho, right? Who, Dog Leash? Nice pull, I do have him, but that is a nice pull, 98 rated, we take those. Anything else in behind? Rivaldo, nice. All right, see, 84 times 10 still have their place as well. Compared to the 85 times 10, it's only an 84 squad, and you can still get Team of the Seasons there, and it's still easy to craft. So those will still have their place, even with an unlimited 85 times 10, but that's what we're hoping for today. Um, yeah, the last thing I guess to mention once again is the FC25 rewards inside of the objective section, that for the club two objective. I hope EA don't withhold that for too long. I know that I need to get working on this personally for the XP and for the objective packs, but um, yeah, it'd be nice to have that here really soon. I wouldn't, it seems like a Friday type of content piece, but I really hope they release it before then. So we'll be watching objectives today as well. Maybe another Evo dropping today, but it would not have the same amount of hype as the one that was dropped yesterday, of course, with nothing contributing to FC25. But make sure you get this one done and make sure you keep ripping those 85 10s and just enjoy the end game however you like to enjoy it. Whether it's trading a little bit, whether it's buying the players. That's the other thing I want to mention too real fast at the end of the video is I know that R9's down bad in price now and I get it. And some people are like, Nate, 
why would I go do the SBC? It's 15 squads when I can just go buy bro for seven, 800 as he keeps dropping in price, a thousand coins on the market. That's fine. Go and do it, man. This is the end game. Get the card you want to use. Who cares how you get it? Just get the card, enjoy the game, enjoy the high rated, the end game players, all the crazy stats, and then uh, just go for it, man. So I was playing champions, uh, foot champions yesterday with some of the footies cards in my team because I'm going for the objective. And I was just like, you know what? I want to try to enjoy some of these cards going all out attack, running a 3 5 2 with like no defending, sending all my players forward. That's just kind of part of the fun of the end game. But enjoy the end game how you want to. We will keep updating you guys with the videos. We'll see what we get today on this game. And we'll be there for the unlimited 85 times 10 if EA would like to give it to us. But if you enjoyed today's video, drop a thumbs up on it, comment down below if you have any questions, and of course, subscribe if you're new. Check out the second channel video and enjoy the games of football today before international break next week. I will catch you guys in a video tomorrow. It's been Nathan for the Peace out.